Welcome to the Always On Reindeer Games. Just in time for your spring break ski trip, we brought some gadgets out to the snow to torture. I have some Monster iSport headphones. I've got a couple iPods, a Nano, and a Shuffle. Now we're gonna drop these guys off the chairlift, ski and snowboard over them, drop them in hot chocolate, bury them in snow. You know, all the stuff that you normally do with your tech when you're playing in the snow. We're gonna put them all through their paces in a series of ski-related torture tests, ranging from green circle to blue square to black diamond. Let's see how they do. All right, here we come. It's time for our first drop test of the day. The iPod Shuffle and the iPod Nano. Frankly, I think it's so lame, I'm kind of looking forward to dropping it. I think this is speaking to a primal fear in me, a fear of falling off the lift. Maybe that's why I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> I, I dropped it! Oh no, luckily I have a spare. Oh no, I dropped that one too. Oh, that was terrible. I can't believe that happened. Oh no. Hi. There's a child down there who's about to ski down and steal our iPods. We got you on camera, kid. Where are my iPods? Aha! There's an amazing indentation in the snow in the exact shape of an iPod and its headphones. Let's try turning this guy on. It's on. It's on the photo screen, but just a little damp. Clearly, it's a pass. Looks like right here-ish. Oh, there it is. Shuffle is very small, and the white headphones are definitely not helping to find it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that if I had dropped this for real, there is no chance that I would find it again. Just put the one in there. Oh, that is cold. Yeah, it's really cold. On shuffle. Oh, totally. I have tunage. Rudy. iPod shuffle, pass. All right, here we go. A slow, controlled ski test. All right, I'm gonna try to snow plow over these guys. Ugh. Boom! Boom! Ugh. I think I got them all. <laughs> That's dangerous. Good, 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 good! Nice! <laughs> this should be an Olympic sport right here. This is going to be in the Olympics next time. Mark my words, Olympics. It is hard to hit a straight line like that. Just take them out. Edge them. Yeah. Nice. Outstanding. Okay, they got to be dead now. All right. Yes, it's time to go hiking. See if those guys are okay. I think I see our first signs of damage, actually. The monster eye sports have lost an earbud. Okay. I'm sure it's fine, just popped off. Everything else seems to be intact. Let's see if we can get this thing back on. Let's see if our little special song is still rolling in there. Okay. I will say one thing about these. They don't fit my ear. I'm just gonna try the other one. Sure would be nice if this thing had like a display. Come on. Pain in my butt. All right, let's see. Still playing. Okay. The shuffle is okay. iPod Nano. Let's see how this guy's doing. They're all basically getting a wet test too, kind of. All right, I see our David Gray screen, and the screen is responsive. I can press play. iPod Nano, A-OK. -okay. We think it's time for the dunk test. After all, the iPods, they're small, they're easily dipped, and, you know, I think we're a little bored with water, so we got a beer for our iPod Nano, and a hot chocolate for our iPod Shuffle. I'm gonna take a couple sips of each before we contaminate them because they are both quite delicious. But then, in they go. First up, iPod Shuffle and Monster iSport headphones. 
in the hot chocolate. There's so much whipped cream, I'm gonna have to like push it down there. Ugh. Let's just make sure it's all in there. How's it gonna be sticky? I'm just gonna go ahead and get some napkins ready. I think it's probably well and truly soaked. I didn't really think this out very well because to test it, I'm gonna have to put it in my ear. Oh, it's on too. It was on when it went in there. <laughs> that is not a nice thing to do to an iPod. Alrighty, let's see. Ew. Gross. Gross. <gasps> There's totally music playing. Oh, it is playing let it be, as in let me be, don't do that anymore. I'm gonna turn it off to protect its little circuits, but dude, good job, Shuffle. All right, now for our Nano in our perfectly good beer. I'm not sure which of these two things makes me sadder, actually, but in you go, headphones and all. Ugh. We have a lot of bubbles. I think it's still on, though. No, oh, no, it's definitely not still on. I almost took a drink of that. It was pretty tempting. I think it might be time for a real beer. It can't be any worse than all those times I've baked it in my oven. All right, let's get that out of there. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> it tastes kind of plasticky. All right, let's try these guys off a little. Let's see if it still comes on. I know, for all of those of you who are planning to email me, I know I'm not supposed to turn it on. But I just can't help myself. Oh, look at that. Okay, the screen's still working. The music comes up. Let's listen. Because I don't have enough chocolate in my ear. I need to add beer, too. A little van. Oh, my God. That is loud. <laughs> it's working. Like, do you hear it? That is super loud. Oh, yeah. It's all the way up. Oh, look. Even the volume works. Beer. Beer. No big deal for our iPod Nano. All right, that's a wrap from the Mount Shasta Ski Park, where it turns out that winter sports are not nearly as tough on your gadgets as you would think they are. And by the way, if this is what iPod tastes like in a beer, iPod tastes delicious.